Greetings, Knights of YouTube. I am your Lord Commander, and welcome back to our House Ball Tower series here in the lands of Westeros. But we are here, my friends, in the uh, the lands of Old Town, Old Town North and South. I almost completely forgot that we did all this, but we actually came and did a uh, a grand tournament here in High Garden and won uh, three out of four tournaments or three out of four competitions. And then uh, we landed second place in the archery contest, which was pretty in uh, interesting. But uh, we are trying to reclaim our lands. Yeah, of a uh, black crown because apparently my son just randomly became a vassal of uh, of these guys of House Black Bar. Yeah, that's not, that's not gonna work out in my, or that's not gonna fly with me. So definitely gonna have to change that. <laughs> anyway, lads, it shouldn't be too much longer if I'm being honest. Yeah, and we've got disease now. Dear God. Famine fever is spreading. Oh my. I'm actually quite concerned. This is going to, this is going to be very interesting. One little bribe. It's going to cost 72. Do it. Yeah, famine fever is spreading. Alright, I hate to do this, especially because my son is here, but we're going to have to declare war on uh, Lord Eren the Dull. <laughs> My claims, the Lordship of Black Crown. Yeah, fuck out of here with all that nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Anyway, lads, it is time to raise our military. Raise all my men. Yeah, all 8,400 of us, lads. Nice. Nice. We're still making fat bucks, which is pretty cool. Famine uh, fever is spreading. That's not good. A scheme at court. Someone's trying to kill Gorman. That's not good. Yeah, let's uh, not allow that to happen, please. I would love that. Thank you. Where are they heading? I think not. Yeah, we'll send our men over to Ashburn. They're trying. They're trying hard to juke our asses out. A love of reading. Time has passed, and yet I still feel a pang when thinking of my dear Rylene. How can I move past this love? As I grapple with my own thoughts, into my throne room walks Elias, a learn a learned member of my court. He eyes me lustfully before announcing, "My lord, you know the only true cure for a broken heart is to learn." <laughs> I I appraise Elias with some doubt, but I. Perhaps, but perhaps he is right. Should I devote myself to my studies? I must. Oh. Oh, if I get a uh, one percent chance, I gain the I gain the trait Maester, and I'm deposed. Oh no. And I would join a uh, Master Mace of the Citadel. Ooh, interesting. I can either get reclusive, celibate, shrewd, or wise men. Or 50%, I just increase my learning by one. Let's try it out. I lost the trait widowed. I'm celibate. No! Ah, that is exactly the opposite of what I wanted to fucking do. That's awful. I don't want to be celibate. Let's go for alliance power. Apparently, they want me to go for, uh... Kylos. They have the highest alliance power, I suppose. There's a 12-year-old. There's a genius 7-year-old. Uh, I would not last. Kasana Estamont. The Estamonts would be interesting. She's callous, a woman after my own heart. That's funny. Yeah, there's, uh, there's quite a few options here. The Alliance Powers isn't really working out in my favor though if i went by prestige gain yeah someone from mirror let's see if we can't get somebody with high stewardship you know sand dornish but i want somebody with like a an alliance potential alliance what if i just went back to like alliance power just went from there She 
she's spindly. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, let's go for a Kasana Estamont, honestly. Send the proposal. There we go. We caught the bastards in the meantime, which is fine. Reachman sweats. Oh my god. Uh, very nice. Me and the lady Kasana. Uh, let me try to... I was like, hello? Uh, I can't seduce or romance her because I'm celibate now. Fuck me, man. That sucks. That really sucks. Alright, so the battle's underway, but quickly, let us take a look at these uh, diseases. Where are these diseases? Looks like there's one up here. The Reachman sweats. That's awful. And what do we have over here? This one's getting bad. Famine fever. Interesting. Oh, oh. The Moonman pox. That's not good. Yeah, Reachman sweats, famine fever, and Moonman pox. It's not good. Famine fever's already killed three people. That's not good. Where are these, oh? Uh. Oh, shit. Oh, this is the Moonman's uh, pox, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. That's not good. Reachman Sweats over here in Golden Grove. Aw, oh, man. That's my uh, my ex-wife's, uh, you know, house. That sucks. And they're so close to, uh, yeah, to Old Town North. That's not good. Those are my lands, my people. No. I don't know what I'm going to do now that I'm a fucking celibate. That kind of sucks. That kind of breaks the whole purpose. You know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, that breaks the whole purpose of, of being, uh, of getting married. Oy, whatever. Court intrigue. We'll just get her to assist ruler, I suppose. Yeah, that's fine. Go on, finish this battle, lads. Very nice. Declare me regent. Lord Branston of Sunhouse. No. You're a bold one for assuming, you absolute dingus. Anyway, lads. We are uh, going to continue our conquest of our western neighbors. House Black Bar. Oh, God. Reachman Sweats is spreading. Jesus. It's spreading. Oh, my God. It's spreading so fast. Jesus. This is awful. I must prepare my lands for uh, for the assault of the plague. Very nice. Let us uh, merge these two armies. They're going to go back for Ashburn. Now we can station the besiegers once more and head out. Oh my god, the Reachman Sweats is spreading horrendously. Jesus, it's so close to Old Town now, too. Ooh, a faction created against Lord Paramount Axel. Faction to install Lord Gorman of Highgarden on the High Tower, on the Reach throne. I see, Lord Gorman of the Reach of House Tyrell. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, I'd rather not get involved in all that right now. Thank you very much. Come on, catch him in passing, lads. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> the pox are still spreading. This is awful. Enemy combatants captured. Lovely. We're going to head over to Castle Ashburn and uh, and actually defend the area. There's a peasant uprising over here in, uh, in the Echo Hills of the West March. Ooh. That's tough. That's tough, isn't it? Yeah, march out and meet them, lads. Caught you between friends. 
Fallon Appledore. He's got 11 stewardship. 23 learning, though. Uh, fine. That's fine. I don't care. A skilled courtier has been recruited. Just hold out, lads. The rest of the forces are coming. Yeah, there we go. Being attacked by Lord Tywin. Aw, oh, damn. For what reason? On the Lordship of Cold Moat. Aw, oh, damn. They want Cold Moat? For what reason? Tywin Lannister, you shrewd man. Yeah, the shrewd. And Axel the mangy fox. Ain't that some shit? That's crazy. Yeah, they got 28,000 strength. Hold on. Yeah, they have 28,000, but the, uh, the Axel, or the, uh, the Florence have 33,000 strength. So, I don't think this is going to turn out well for the Lion of the West, but you never know. Tywin has his ways. He makes things happen, you know? My courtier has been imprisoned. Or an enemy courtier, never mind. Nice. Three months left. Not bad. Offer a squire. To the thoughtful Warren. It would please me greatly if you could personally take Jorian as your squire. Signed, Lord Lucas of Golden Fields. Um, you know, I accept. Finally, people are starting to recognize the, uh, the superiority of Lord Warren Flowers as a Knight of the Reach, lads. Now look at our catapults going off. That's crazy. They said reload, lads. Reload and fire at will. Do it, lads. Do it. Whoosh. Nice. Yeah, they're trying to retake, uh, whatever this place is. Bron what? Bronmel. My game is laggy as fuck right now. I don't know what's going on. I hope it looks better for you guys by the time I'm editing. If not, I'm going to be very upset, actually. Nearly there, lads. Nearly there. Lovely. There we go. Aw, oh, damn. Axel died. Aw, oh, damn. That's tough. Marshal of the Reach. I accept my new Lord Paramount. Thank you. I'm now the Marshal of the Reach. That's interesting. Let's see what this gives us. I am currently the Master at Arms. Gives me plus 3 prowess. Minus 15% army gold maintenance. Plus 15% levy size. Not bad. Which is perfect because uh, originally when I raised all my armies, this said I was only gaining 17.3 uh, per month. Now I'm gaining 22.6. And whenever we're at peace, it's going to be even better. So, can't wait, lads. Cannot wait. Uh, I do not hold the war objective just yet, so I need to start taking the rest of these lands over here, it seems. Now let us hop to it, lads. How do I take these lands, though? There, there's nothing over here to lay siege to. I don't understand. It says I don't hold the the war target. But I can't do anything over here, either. So what am I supposed to do? Is it this? Is this the castle? Yeah, the castle holding. City holding. Because I can't lay siege to cities. But there's only one more castle, and that's over here, so. Oh, and right here. Got it. Either way, either way, now we know. Famine fever is spreading. Alright, this, this seems to be dying down a little bit, the Reachman sweats, which is good. Damn, this is looking pretty nasty over here. Oh my god, there's so, there's so many. There's so many diseases now. Oh my god, the Moonman Pox is spreading. Famine fever spreading. What is this? More famine fever? It's jumped. Oh, good god. The north seems pretty protected. Hello, lovelies. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I forgot about the uh, the whole table thing, too. 
There's like the crown, the seven pointed star, a bunch of letters, a bunch of golden, uh, you know, what's it called? A bunch of golden skulls, which is interesting. But look at this shit here, lads. Yeah, Sir Duncan the Tall, Sir Gerald Hightower. Nice. Sir Gerald Hightower is uh, one of the the Kingsguard that were off uh, defending the Tower of Joy. That's pretty interesting. Ah, uh, the Mirish Pox. Dear God. Oh my God, Spotted Fever. Which one's the most deadly? 43 kills, 52 kills, 29 kills, 71 kills, 79 kills. The Mirish Pox is out here murdering people right now. <laughs> my God. This, uh, this new disease feature is no fucking joke, guys. Peacemaker. Lovely. We're one, uh, perk away from getting the gallantry perk. Which is not bad. Anyway, let's... We continue our siege of the castle of, uh, something. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this again, lads. They never learn, do they? Station the besiegers and the rest of you march off. To war, lads. Kill the black bar bastards. I would raise these entire lands to the ground before I let you uh, subjugate my dear son. And you know what? Just for your impunity, I'm going to march all my forces. I don't care how much attrition it takes. And we're going to go lay siege to your capital. Because fuck you. That's why. Nice. This siege is done. And now we head over here to Breaker's Tower. Prisoners have been taken in the siege, which is pretty cool. Yeah, but there's no other castle holding, so they better just give it to me by the time I'm done, or I'm going to be mad. Yeah, 21 months left in this siege. And in that... Wow, this one's going pretty fast. A number of days, lads. Days. That's all it takes. Iron Throne... Pr pox jesus dude what now oh my god oh my god look at all these lands dude that's insane they're all grayed out do you hear the crows damn that's crazy that is absolutely insane yeah i guess the uh the game doesn't want me to see any more of these these diseases i guess there's something going on up here now oh that's a territory dispute <laughs> never mind my bad lads my bad ignore me anyway reachman pox is spreading again jesus yeah look at this oh my god the famine fever the reachman pox what is this one the iron throne pox jesus it's actually uh quite a distance away from the iron throne if i'm being honest but i guess it's just what they named it that's on the other side of like Heron Hall, yeah. Odd. Odd name for an odd positioned, uh, you know, disease there, I suppose. But it's not any of my concern. A familial reflection. I remember the day when my first child, Dennis, a beautiful boy, was born to my wife, Rylene, My sensible son. Memories like these bring me comfort no matter what happens. I know my family is there for me. And that house bull tower stands strong. Death before submission, I whisper under my breath. Yeah, let's let's send him a gift. I want my son to, you know, be well. Be well and be happy, my son. Nice. Now we hold the war target. 99% we can, uh, we can declare peace. It'll get even better once I officially <laughs> take their castle. I'm going to lay siege to their castle just out of spite, if I'm being honest. Like, maybe I don't need to do it, but I'm going to. Because, look, we've already technically won. So, I'm going to get this 28 golden loot as well. Just out of spite, lads. Just because I'm mean like that. I'm also possessed. I forgot Lord, Lord Warren Flowers is also possessed. A man arrived in my court today claiming to be an artist. He states he has been struck by the beauty of my land and wishes to stay for inspiration. Uh, sure. The artist was gone this morning. He did not let anyone know he had left. I walked into the room he had used as a studio for the first time and was struck by a beautiful painting of my castle. Such a painting speaks volumes to my dynasty's legacy. 
Well-known dynasty for five years. Yeah, I will gladly display this painting. Thank you. Three, two, one, boom! New Septon. Yeah, lots of prisoners. Sorry, lad. Yeah, my lads, once again, suck it. Too many counties. My duchy. Right, duchy is too large. Your duchy is crumbling under the pressure of having, having too much land. You should create or usurp a kingdom. Interesting. All right, so there's a dis there's a decision to find to found my own kingdom. I understand. Interesting. Alliance invalid now because of my my son's you know everything. Yeah, too many counties. And I'm above my domain limit. See, now I can grant Leaden Hall to somebody. There you go. Who is now my vassal. Fantastic. I lost my steward in that. But that's fine because I have another lad who can take over. Thank you. I can uh, disband my armies for the quick moment. Thank you. We're still technically at war. Uh, where is my son? Is he no longer... Yeah, he's no longer my vassal, but he is still my player heir. Which is fine. He's got 14 uh, martial skill, which I'll take. Lady Margaret of the Stormlands. She seems fine. She seems to be doing well. Yeah, she's a charming young lady. Arrogant, perhaps, but gregarious and diligent. I love that. Congratulations. Um, she's also 13, which means she's nearly there. Oh, my poor son, he's got all scarred up. Why is his health bad? Oh, he's mangled. Aw, man. Mm, damn it. My poor boy. Too many counties, eh? Yeah, I can't, I can't create my own kingdom just yet. I see now why they, you know, took my lands. But I didn't want my son to be a vassal of somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So... Damn it, because this is my direct heir, or my direct liege, right? Yeah, Lord Roland the Dull. Can I create an independence war? I can. I would lose, but I can. Hmm. I mean, I might not lose. They are also at war, and they're almost in debt. Damn, that's going to be tough. Well, that's a damn shame, isn't it? Yeah, Independence War. Wait, it said I have claims on what? Grave Ridge. Where is that at? Oh. Ah, I see. No, uh, Independence War. Yeah, Declare War. Damn it. I can train my squire. Let's train them in... Ooh, your stats kind of suck. Strategy, because 66%. Yeah, and I still have too many counties. All right, let us move our rallying points. Raise all my armies. Let me summon my allies to war. Lord Eldin of Estamont Isles and Lord Paramount Stefan the Hurricane. Send your Stormlanders. Please, please, my lord. Speaking of Stormlanders, I am having a tremendous amount of fun. Uh... You know, playing as my, uh, as the Stormlanders in Realm of Thrones. Let me just mass ransom everybody. Get lost, all of you. Give me money or give me favors. I don't care. He sucked. My squire sucks. Excellent. Excellent. Here comes my allies, lads. Nice. And everybody's accepted my ransom. Good. And my alliance has been formed with my son, Lord Dennis. Captain Dennis of Bastard's Hands. That's crazy. My son is a captain of a... Uh, Manganel's Stormblade, Stormbringers, Swords of the Reach, Crossbowmen. Interesting. He's a mercenary company. Where? Hold on. What is happening?
and the Lordship of Black Mill. All the way over here? What are you doing in Black Mill, kid? Oi. My kid is just doing shit, bro. Whatever. Captain Dennis of Bastard's Hands. I think that's pretty cool. My dear father, of course I shall join you in this war. Good. Good. I'm glad, kiddo. Thanks. Come hang out with uh, dear papa, why don't you? Look at my military strength. 1,800 or 18,000? That's crazy. I had no idea. Lord Warren Flowers. Did my hair change? It sure did change. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm an older man now. I'm 50, damn it. Yeah, I'm not getting any younger. That's for damn sure. All right, whatever. There's 5,000 men here, 5,000 men there. I don't know if I have the strength to take them, lads, if I'm being absolutely honest. So I just need to beat them down because there's no objective. I just need to take their lands, take their prisoners, and uh, and defeat them in combat. So, fuck it, lads. Let's get a move on. You will probably win, it says. And yeah, they still have men. There we go. Caught their asses on the retreat, lads. Oh, my knight was slain. No. Ah, oh, the knight of the bull. He was slain. That's awful. Are these even the right armies? These are hostile armies. These aren't even enemy armies. So I just attacked them for no fucking reason. Whatever, dude. Let's go to High Garden. Fuck it. Let's go lay siege to High Garden. That'd be interesting, eh? Yeah, nice. There's a there's a lot of us out here. Twenty three thousand lads. Stay away from my lands. Fuck you. Be gone. Yeah, more hostile armies. It's because all the uh yeah they're all up here. That's interesting. Yeah, they're fighting each other. That's crazy. Yeah, there's so much happening right now. That's wild. There's two years left in this siege. Yeah, they're going to scooch right by us. Not bad. And this is interesting. The whole of the Reach is at war with the Westerlands. That's absolutely insane. It truly is a war in the West. A white peace. A white peace. No? Fuck you, dude. What the hell? He's really trying to sue for peace already? Like, I've won one battle and... It wasn't even against your men, you fool. But he, he's realizing now that he's uh, he's going to be truly beaten down. Because he's at war with the, the Stormlands, uh, the High Towers, and the Westerlands. So he's being pushed in on, on all sides. So, no. I will most definitely keep this war going on. Mulberry Pox. Dear God. This is awful. Yeah, because pretty soon I think the Westerlanders are going to push uh, north. I don't know. They have a lot of men here. The Westerlanders don't. New barrel fever spreads. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. My god. Noblewood fever spreads. My god. That's awful. Oh my. Alright, there's only three. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's awful. And I'm here. And all my men are here. My people, no. What is this? Mulberry pox in the veil? Damn, dude. Or ve the veil slash the crown lens, kind of depending. Yeah, because that's, that's gold town, I'm pretty sure. Damn, dude. The green fever. God damn it, dude. That's uh, That's pretty intense. We're right here in the thick of it, too. It's already getting grayed out over here, these lands. That's not good. Low county control. I can ask for a pardon. I don't want to ask for a pardon. You're not going to be my liege for too much longer. Right, Mella. She's a fornicator. Dude, I don't care. Leave your petty bullshit out of my, uh, my court, please. 11 months left. Nice, and these lads are still uh, firmly at war as well. 
God damn, dude. That's insane. Alright. I've gained for myself the trait of Gallant. Which gives me plus two martial skills, plus four prowess. Very nice. And plus 20% monthly prestige. Not bad. I'll take it. Oh, nine days left. Nice. Valuable prisoner taken. Lord Argoth of the Reach of House Florence. Interesting. We're at 82% now, lads. Alright, we're going to take just all of the uh, the lands of High Garden, if I'm being honest. I suppose that's fine. Yeah, but these fevers are so close. It's scary. Come on. Oh no, a prisoner in my own body. I knew that getting older would mean doing everything slower, but I didn't think it would all come to a halt until my death. Lately, I feel a constant malaise and everything takes more effort than before. I'm worried that if I lie down, I might not be able to get up again. There is no doubt that my time is running out. I feel like I can do naught but to wait death's sweet embrace to claim me. Ah, no, I'm infirm now. How long will I have to wait? Damn it. And just like that, enforce my demands. Oh, what the hell? It closed out. That's odd. Oh, that's why. He's, he still has to consider it. Very nice. So be it. I gained 55 legitimacy. I am the lawful ruler of the Southlands, lads. Dismiss that. My new liege is, uh... Yeah, King Ares himself. Nice. I'm now an independent kingdom. The kingdom of Old Town. Hell yeah, lads. King Ares the second. Lovely. Found a new kingdom, lads. You hold three or more duchies. The realm size of the High Lordship of Old Town is 30 or more. And it is currently 31, lads. Very nice. Pay homage. Petition my liege. Grand tournament. Grand tour. Train my squire. Ooh, actually, I should do that. Let me uh, ransom this fellow. Thank you. Yeah, found a new kingdom, lads. Gather the realm. The old town court. You now have a royal court. As Lord Paramount, you have new duties and responsibilities. You will now be expected to regularly hold court, solving the disputes of the realm, and letting your courtiers take part in your daily routines. Lord Branston of Sunhouse is looking sternly at me in a direct, almost lecturing way. Perhaps there is also some surprise to his eyes. He starts to unfold a beautiful banner bearing the emblem of House Bull Tower. One of the ways in which the world will now judge your rule is how you will adorn and care for your royal court. I have taken the liberty to have this made as a gift to mark the beginning of your royal tenure, my lord. Very nice. I love it. Let them see their new Lord Paramount. I was like, the lag. My god. Hello? Very nice. All my life I have worked for this. To call my vassals and make them swear filthy anew. Now and forever they will pay homage to me, not only as their liege, but as Lord Paramount. Lord Paramount of Old Town. My realm will last forever, even if I do not. Ugh, 51 years old. Look at the mad lad himself. That's crazy. He's a big man, too. He's not a giant, either. He's just a big man. That's crazy. Ah, and my son is still my player heir. Can I not, like, invite him to court? Arrange a marriage. That's odd interesting but whatever uh court artifacts dynasty yeah let's do the dynasty banner right in the center i love that yeah that looks pretty good a large wall ornament and then we can do the house banner right there small wall ornament the mighty boar hide why not that's almost broken can we not repair this we can repair this repair thank you very much lovely My claims. Ah, I can claim both of these. Steal the artifacts. 
challenge for the artifacts. Can I steal this one? 34% to steal that one. 34% for this one. Uh, let me challenge Leighton for the artifact. For vigilance. And then we can start to claim. Or, uh, yeah. Let me leave this court for just a moment. Disband all my armies. Thank you very much. Very nice. Single combat against my half-brother and my rival, Leighton. For a few be- Hello? For a few brief moments, Leighton and I pace in lazy half-circles, each watching for an opening. I lift my black bull. I lift my black bull, ready to defend myself while he clutches his vigilance firmly to hand. This fight may only be till first blood, but that doesn't ease my nerves. With a sudden twitch, our bout begins. Well aware that he is utterly outmatched, Leighton hurls himself at me bodily, forcing me backwards with all the desperation of the doomed. Attack first, attack hard, on guard! Putting all my strength into my first strike, I leap straight for Leighton, lifting my, my mace high into a crushing thwack that sends him reeling. We light the way, scum! screams my opponent, whirling his sword furiously at, around, and near me. My form is good, with only small errors, and Leighton's stance is passable. I have yet to open up my opponent's guard at all, and see no way yet to claim victory. Strike, parry, and riposte. I leap into action, launching a flurry of rapid thumps, driving myself hard against Leighton's guard, wearing him down with each expertly timed strike. Well aware that he is utterly outmatched, Leighton hurls himself at me. Ah, I see. I'll show you how I lift a mace. My mace flows around Leighton like water, each strike chaining fluidly into the next. A series of perfectly timed attacks. We light the way, he screams. Very nice. My form is excellent with little chance for mistake, and Leighton's stance is failing. Look at how short he is compared to me, too. Yeah, strike parry and riposte. Very nice. Victory is mine. My mace arm moves fast as lightning and strikes as hard as sundered stone. Blow by blow, I beat my opponent into bloody concussed submission, hammering him into the ground with all the fury the warrior can lend me. When all that's left is a quivering pile of bleeding man, I wonder if I've gone too far. Then Leighton coughs, and ha coughs hard enough to lose his grip on the sword, and I allow myself a little sigh of relief. With the worry over, I kick my foe's weapon away and lay my own against his throat. It takes a few tries, but Leighton gets the yield out eventually. I am victorious. How lovely. And now, ah, uh, Gerald Hightower's sword is mine. He was my uncle. Slain by Mistress Kala of Kinsblood. Interesting. Well, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, very interesting. I didn't necessarily want uh the the Gerald sword for prowess 0.5 prestige. It's better than my current, so I'll hold on to that. Why not? Why not? Let me see if I can't uh put some of my artifacts out here. Nothing? No? I guess it doesn't count. As a quartz artifact, I suppose. Which is fine. I don't really care. Like, it's, it's honestly not that big a deal. Uh, I do have some unstationed men-at-arms that I can station uh, uh, in other places. So, that's fine. Lovely. Yeah, we are possessed and infirm. Which is giving us uh, quite a bit of, of damage here, it seems. A flesh wound. Yeah, I gotta hold court now, I suppose. A pool of blood is congealing under the feet of Ronard, a diplomat sent by my ally, Lord Elden of Estamont Isles. 
by the immense quantity soaked up by my fine carpet, I can only assume that he has been bleeding on the spot for hours, if not longer. My apologies for this mess. I was defen defenestrated by a dwarf trying to rob me in an inn on my journey to the high tower. However, as the rapscallion cushioned my fall, the diplomatic visit can continue. It will still be days until my blood loss is fatal. 24% that he dies. Yeah. We can talk now, but your liege is paying for my carpet. Lovely. Not bad. Now, uh, Court Grandier. We're below our expected level. So we can increase everything by at least one, I think. Court amenities, no cost. Or is that current? Oh, new cost, yeah. I see, I see. What's like the base amount? 0.84. We can go for like decent stuff. Decent food, some servants, and middling lodgings. Apply. Nice. Now I can't change it again for quite some time, but my court grandia is uh it's going up. Warlike court, number of captains, captain effectiveness, size of men at arm regiments, administrative court, building time, construction time, vassal contribution. Interesting. I can change excuse me. My court. The common tongue is fine, I suppose. Yeah, ranked thirteenth in the world. Stefan the Hurricane, Hoster of the Riverlands, Erston of the Vale. Interesting. Not bad, though. I'll take that. I'll take 13th. I don't really give a shit, if I'm being honest. Whatever, lads. Whatever. Yeah, not bad. My poor man, he's so old now. Jesus. I, mean, I like the fact that he cut his hair kind of just on his own, but... You know, it is what it is, I suppose. Nice. Now at level 4. I am the new head of the Honeywiner culture. There. I'm granting vassals to the people that deserve them, I suppose. I lost my chancellor in that. That's all right. Lord Warren of Honeyholt, you can become my new chancellor. Thank you. Foreign affairs, domestic affairs, integrate title. I don't see why not. I wonder if I can't take the rest of the arbor, if I'm being honest. can't declare war. I can't offer vassalage either. But maybe I can lay claims. Yes? Yeah, fabricate claims on Wine Town. Thank you, Meister. Nice. And now Old Town is its own kingdom. The eight kingdoms. Oh, why not? Ronard dies. Oh, he died. Oh, shit. The guy was trying to integrate. The High Lordship of Golden Coast. Interesting. Uh, greetings, my implacable liege. I was told recently I've been saying this wrong. Apparently, it's implacable. I don't know. Implicable. Implicable. Like, implicated, I suppose. But yeah, apparently I've been saying that wrong for fucking ever. Implacable. Yeah, to my implicable liege, I have arrived in the high tower to pay homage to you, glorious Lord Paramount, as a show of my loyalty. I bring you rich gifts worthy of your majesty as a token of my goodwill and servitude. Uh, yes. Let me show you in at once. Taking the knee. Yeah, I don't want to read all that. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. My level of courtship has increased. I love that. 34. It's going to take approximately four years. I don't know if I have four years. Ah, I see. Okay. Should I feel insulted? I don't think I do. Can't challenge for an artifact for another five years. 
Damn you, Leighton Hightower. Damn you. I guess we have no choice but to wait. So that's fine. I'm gonna super speed this shit. See what gets done. These uh, these fucking plagues are still going on. King Aerys's pox. Oh my. Guards of the High Tower. Interesting. Kind of want to get some guards of the High Tower, but I already have some uh, heavy swordsmen. Yeah, swords of the Reach, forty-two, fifty-one, six, and eleven. 42, 56, 6, and 11. Yeah, they're not as strong. Actually, they're stronger. They have better defense than the uh, Swords of the Reach. Um, I'm already making 25 gold. I might as well just add, you know, a tad bit more to my military. I don't see why not, honestly. Lord Otten's Grand Wedding, eh? There's also a Grand Tournament. Maybe I can hold my own Grand Tournament. Since we're, uh, you know, to commemorate the uh, the creation of our, our new kingdom activities. Or perhaps a Grand Tour. Legitimacy gain. Interesting. Prestige, stress loss, popular opinion, Grand Tour. Yeah, maybe a Grand Tour, I think. That'd be interesting. A two-month-long duration. Mm, do I want to spend that money? It's only going to cost 225 So I don't really care. Who's going to be my regent? Lady Paramount Kasana. Our Lord Ryman of the Crossing has been uh, excommunicated. That's interesting. I have claims on the crossings. However... Ooh. Yeah, we would end up going to war with all of uh, of the Riverlands. I don't really want to do that, so I shan't. I won't. I could, but I shan't. Oh, no. Has a plague started in my lands? Ah, uh, yep. Eris's pox. Not King Eris's pox, but Eris's pox. Began in down water. Fucking hell, dude. Alright, let us do uh, control plagues. Yeah. Control the plague. Please, Maester Elias. Uh, and I believe we shall, in fact... Because I'm already uh, infirm. So let me enter seclusion. Secluded for five years. That's tough. Lock the door. Which sucks. Isolate the capital. I can emerge from seclusion as well. That's tough. Yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye on this uh, this plague. Oh my god. I had no idea. Oh man. Oh no. He doesn't want to marry Margaret. No, sorry. You're going to have to deal with it. Sorry, kid. I love you to death. Oh, damn. Do I still have people in my dungeons? Why? Lord Commander Maylis the Monstrous. So he didn't die. He was he was sent to the wall and he became the Lord Commander? Bro, what the fuck? That's crazy. Oh, man. I thought he died. But he was, he was defeated in combat, obviously. He was defeated in battle, defeated in battle by King Aegon of the Iron Throne. Yeah. Damn, I was recruited into the Night's Watch under Lord Commander John. I lost the Kingdom of Disputed Lands. Yeah, so he, he eventually lost in his war and was sent to the Wall. I swore my vows and took the Black and then he became the ruler of the Wall. The Battle of Castle Black against Halgor of King's Blood. Interesting. Bold Knave. Commanded and won the Battle of East Watch. And 
Yeah, this the War of Castle Black. He did good. I commanded and won the War of Eastwatch against Halgor again. The Battle of Norlington and Chiefess Eel's War. That's crazy. How many kills does he have? Let me view this man's kills. Rid of that. God damn, he's got a lot of kills. Maynar Blackfire burned at the stake. Damon Blackfire was slain in a duel. Damn. Yeah, Ladono, a magister. Yeah. Interesting. And I, I had no idea. Yeah, let me send all these people to the fucking wall, bro. They're, they're all a bunch of lowborns. Oh, House Greenlee. We can just let this dude go, I think. Yeah, we'll... Oh, bastard. Whatever, just get lost. If you're not a lowborn, we'll we'll see what we can do to get rid of you. Yeah. His stats kind of suck. What happens if I recruit you? Yeah. Languished in my prison. He's my rival now. That's tough. Barth is a lowborn, so we can send him to the wall. And I believe that will be the end of that. Interesting. He likes us a lot. We're illustrious. Our court grandeur is really good. I'm brave. I'm also a knight. He's grateful three times over. Interesting. Hunchback, giant, hideous, Herculean, two-headed. Interesting. Familial kin kinslayer, knight. Damn. What a mad lad. Lord Commander Melis the Monstrous. Isn't that some shit, dude? That's fucking crazy. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool, man. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, I've got approximately three more years. I can invite ten people into the scheme of mine. Refuses, can be convinced. What are your stats looking like? He's got 12 uh, intrigue, which is average. Uh, he won't accept. Good, I don't really want you to. Genis. Yeah, they, they don't have the best. Refuses. What if I bribed you? Will not accept. Damn it. Damn you, Eric. What about you, Bedrin? If I bribed you, will not accept. You bastard. What about you? Will not accept, you bastard. What about you? Nope. Yeah, might be convinced. Invite to scheme, fuck it. We're gonna just invite a few people in here, honestly. Just to help me out. 85%, see, I like that. Approximately 19 months now. Very nice. Oh, the Beast of Bulwa. Oh, my lands, they're being ravaged by plague. No. Oh, no. That's awful. Look at all the seagulls around here, though. That's pretty cool. I like that. But the crows, because of the plague, man. Ah, Eris's pox, it's jumped counties now. Jesus, please. It's already killed 49 people. Come on, man. It's a pox. A catastrophic penalty. Severe penalty. Yeah, that's not good. Plague resistance. Prestige. Regular duties. I don't want him to do regular duties. Monthly life experience. Advanced research. Monthly piety. No, I, I definitely want him to keep uh, trying to increase our, our plague resistance. Please, please. I would like my lands to be plague-free before my son comes to, uh, you know, take over. Is he, uh, is he sick? No, he's well-connected, warlike, trained fighter. He is wounded, though, for whatever reason. Blood of old Valyria, he has. His fa- his, uh, yeah, his health is ailing. It's poor. It's not good. So is mine, though. I it says I'm fine, actually. My health is fine. That's interesting. Richard's pox spreads. Oh, God. An inspired person can be... 
I see. Who wants to write about stewardship? Who wants to weave something glorious? I see. It's going to cost 181. Sure. I don't see why not. This one is going to cost 50. Sure. I don't see why not. Untamed beauty of nature. What life is like inside my realm. Let's do that. Cool. Uh, have that's it then, lads. Congrats. Hold on. What the hell happened to all my banners? Oh, never mind. There it is. I was like, I thought it was much bigger than that, if I'm being honest. But I, I see I was wrong, so. Come on. 16 months. Do something. More reports roll in from the Lordship of Beach Castle as Eris's pox continue to rage. Anfrid, having brought me the latest of the missives personally, slams a hand to my desk. The people expect us to be performing some acts to help them, he insists, gesturing at the message. Now I've seen this type before. All we need to do is purge some of the filthy animals that have been be bedeviling this area. The affliction surely won't last without them. Anfrid leans back in satisfaction... Leans back in satisfaction as I ponder. It is the will of the seven. Damn. 50% I get disastrous coal. Fuck. Inspiration of vassal to remember. Lord Warren and Lord Martin are among the most powerful vassals of my realm. I never know how to keep them happy, so they don't go around stirring up trouble. Perhaps flattery is the way to go. Anyone would be pleased to have something made in their name, wouldn't they? And I have just the right thing in the making. I should let my beneficiary, Janid, know that I am dedicating his masterpiece to my trustworthy vassals and advisors. Then again, it is my artifact, so maybe I should just... To myself? I can gain 100 piety. I can gain 150 prestige. Or I can increase the opinion of my moron vassals. Uh, they, they're they already pretty... This guy's terrified of me, which is good. And this guy is a zealot. But they both like me. So, I mean, just do it to myself. I don't give a shit, bro. What the fuck? One little bribe, eh? 87, and now I have a claim on uh, more of these lands. Stewardship Topics. I find my knight, Ryman, surrounded by scrolls and manuscripts, furiously flipping through the pages. My lord, there are so many er areas of stewardship that are worthy of attention. Laws, trade, money. I don't even, I don't even know where to start. Related to ruling the realm. Laws and administration, buildings and taxation. Yeah, what topic does your muse yearn for? Of a higher quality. Perfect. Now, this episode will end if we can end the plague of Eris's Pox. I already claimed 76 lives. Jesus. Oh, look, 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 look. We've, we're culling it out. That's perfect. Yes, thank God. Let me see how the play. Oh, look at that. We've already cut it down. Very nice. I'm, I'm thinking that the culling has, uh, yeah, culling the livestock helped. Thank God. Thank the seven. university student student donates gold thank you another is there another plague dear god an envious artisan Raymond my writer sits glaring over his repast at janid a co-contender for my patronage though usually safely squirreled away pondering over his desk Raymond quickly spoils the mood when it comes time to dine tonight he finally snaps you should drop this dead weight my liege janid doesn't know the right end of a thread let alone his way around a weavery your work is valuable to me, Raymond. Stop being a little pansy-ass idiot. I'm already... My capital is already isolated. What are you talking about? Oh, no. Righteous pox. Over here, right where all these men are at war. All these Westerlanders are about to be consumed by the pox. That's crazy. And look at that. There's more over here. Damn. Parchment's pox. Not the porridge plague. Oh, no. My capital is isolated. Did they just come out of isolation? Yeah, isolate the capital. Why did you... Oh, wait, get back. 
from dust. Finally, the plague has left the realm and we must take this as an opportunity to rise from the chaos it left in its wake. We now emerge from the wreckage of the old world and the time has come to consider the new. Yeah, disease recovery for five years, please. Oi. A minor management, steel artifact. I've told my agent Ben Freer to monitor Leighton so that we can find the perfect opportunity to pilfer an artifact item from him. Progress, however, has been much slower than I'd like. Perhaps I should give her something specific to look out for. Micromanaging. Uh, what does this do? This seems negative. Diplomacy stress gain. No, I trust them to do their job. Get it done. Get it done. Aha, Lord Colin of Go uh, of Garden Go. Hello, Lord Colin of Garden Coast has arrived to pay homage. Thank you. Three court grandeur. Thank you. How lovely. Famine fever spreads. Dear God. All right, things are things are going quite well. Case is now being plagued. Oh God, look at all that. Jesus. Gerald Hightower sword. That's not what I was trying to steal, bro. I already had it. What are you talking about? Bro, what the fuck? It was a success. I basically just stole it from myself. That's that's so stupid, dude. That is so stupid. Ah, what is happening right now? Jesus. All right. Let me see if I can't steal another fucking artifact. Where's my rivals at? Leighton Hightower, you rap bastard. I can't steal another artifact. Ah, Can I demand an artifact? He will not accept, and I don't have a hook. Damn it, dude. God damn. That's so stupid. I don't understand. That's so annoying. Inspiration realized. Magnificent making gold. Nice. I'm impressed. Very well done, my friend. Oh, is this a, uh, oh, it's a court artifact. Yes, please. Another inspired person. Wants to forge a crown? I accept. Hell yeah, dude. Good luck with that. All right, let me, uh, let me emerge from seclusion. Yeah, thank you. How glad I am to be back. Thank God. Angrily if refuses to sell. Fuck that guy. An excellent pa tapestry. Lovely. Now I have another court artifact. That I'm going to put up on this wall. Just an excellent tapestry. Well done. Not bad. Please tell me there's not another plague here. My god. There sure is. The hills fever. Oh man. Yeah, it's already spilled over into my territory, into my lands. Fuck. Yep. Control the plagues. Dear God. Plague resistance. Can I isolate the capital? I can't. Ah, uh, no. And not until eighth moon, so three more months. I will not be in seclusion this time. I will wait this out with my people. But damn it. Oh my God. Lots of gold being donated by university students. Oh, Jesus, dude. This is awful. These plagues. Look at my men, though. Super cool. Copulated with his lover. Dude, I don't care. God. Uh, inspiration is Fickle Philip. Roderick Cragby. I bump into a very grave-looking Roderick, my metalsmith, hoping that... He doesn't bring ill news of the splendid crown he should soon have ready for me. Oh, there you are, my liege. I have hit a wall in my work. Nothing major. My ideas have gone to ground as the pressure mounts, he laughs nervously. I just need some inspiration. Mighty Lord Paramount, might you have some prior examples I could examine? Interesting. Uh, to the Great Hall! I show Roderick around my grand hall, taking great pride in its luxury and the various riches on display. The metal spiff... 
Hello. The metalsmith pauses as though awestruck, examining my prize brooch. Ah, very fine, my liege. Could could I use its jewel? Yeah, that's fine. I'm pretty sure I got that from a, my daughter or one of my children, but uh, I suppose that's fine. I don't have a regalia, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal. There we go. Now I can isolate the capital. Thank you. Oi, we isolate the capital, but I will not hide from this, this plague. We shall do all we can. Bad air over the uplands. Hill's fever has devastated the people of uplands. My guest, Omer, informs, informs me that the local trade and produce has completely dried up as the people wallow in their homes and in the streets awaiting the stranger's call. He blames the plague on the bad air surrounding the dead and dying and proposes that countering it with a vast field of violets would do much to dispel this bad air and slow the spread of the disease. Yeah, it's worth a try. Abundant flora is what we're going to get from that. Cow pox is spreading. Jesus, King Eris's pox is still around. No laughing matter. The sound of laughter rings down my hallways. Uh, rings down hallways at court these days. Strange, even given the hill's fever that continues to ravage the countryside. I grab Torquil as he passes and demand to know what's going on. Why, my lord, he begins with a broad grin. It's the latest advice from physicians. They are sure that Hill's fever is spread by bad moods and grim demeanors. You're dumb. Don't do that shit again. Look at that. Oh my god, 43. Oh dear god. Ah, a faction created against King Eris II. Ah, uh, Liberty Faction. From... Ah, oh, Lord Quellen of the Iron Islands. That's interesting. Come on, please. Cowpox is spreading. But the Hill's Fever is not. It's killing people, but that's not good. A wife's touch. I spot my wife, Kasana, chattering excitedly to Roderick, list listening, listing sorry, ideas and suggestions for his crown. My metalsmith is barely concealing his contempt, clearly annoyed at my spouse's interference. And as you are forging a crown, she goes on, it may as well match my grandmother's old crown. Part of Roderick's soul seems to be dying. Come, darling, let's leave it to the expert, please. Please. <laughs> oh, lovely. Lord Paramount Warren's crown. This is lovely. And now, I have a crown. Epic. Go on, show me this crown. I guess it's not going to show me. That kind of sucks. I'm literally wearing the crown, like, right now. That sucks. We'll never know what it looks like. Maybe there's a high cr uh, high tower crown that I can try on uh, over here. Headwear. Let's go all the way down. Oh. Did they switch it? Oh, yes, yeah, shit. It's all the way up here. That's cool. I see. Crown of Winter, Iron Stag, Storm King. Crown of High Tower. That's ugly as shit. That's actually really, really ugly, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Yeah, I don't I don't really care about wearing a crown right now, so we're we're good. We'll just leave it default. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, but we have a crown. We have all the stats of wearing a crown, so I'll take it. That's fine. Nice. So the plague is already uh, dying down. The hill's fever. <sighs> Thank God, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Thank the seven. A game of riddles. Yeah, he beat me, but I don't really care. Is there another plague? You're lying. Because it gave me the option to isolate the capital again. Nice. Nice. Somebody else is paying homage, which is fantastic. My court grandias reached level 7. Alright, it looks like for the time being... Oh, yeah. Spare no expense to rebuild, thank god. Oy, there's no plagues currently at the moment. I love that. Thank god. Somebody else wants to be sponsored. Wants to forge a goblet. 
No. Find your inspiration somewhere else, Vagrant. Oh, dear God. The plane's fever. No. Oh, my God. It's already, cl it's already claiming lives. Oh, my God. Evening reflections. I sip at my mug of imported tea, eyes scanning over my latest scrawled work. The Sword Song. Where other men seek... Where other men speak silvered, silvered words, he leads soldiers on iron herds. The sword song, where other men speak silvered words, he leads soldiers in iron herds. His subjects prove grateful, for if they are not, then next to their door his sword brought. Truly, I am one of the great artistic minds of my age. Yeah, that's fine. I guess I'm a poet now, which is cool. Camp fever spreads. Court grandeur decreased. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's already killed 37 people. Jesus. Please, Elias. There we go. Plains fever is going down. Thank God. Oh, my counselor died. Ah, oh, damn. He was my admiral. Uh, Lord Jonin. He can take over, I suppose. Nice. The plane's fever have killed 66 people. Lives or gold? Gold is the lifeblood of a realm, and merchants bring much of that wealth. Plane's fever still spreads across that same realm, however, and Torkil has brought me missives from the trade-rich coastal provinces. We can control this outbreak, my lord, Torkil says with what feels like a bluffed confidence, requiring all merchants sequester themselves before they bring their goods to markets will ensure they aren't infected. But the unspoken rest of the sentence intim intimated there's scant chance this won't damage the inflow of precious taxes. No, coastal quarantine, what the hell? Yeah. Force the bastards to do it. The way of the sword. The endless clash of metal on metal, the chafing of armor, the sting of sweat. It is a dance that is as familiar as it is exhausting. To heft my sword, attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. Maybe it would do me good to practice my skills with another weapon. Respected expert. Yeah, let's end the, mot the monotony and hand me another weapon. I am wounded. Whoops. But I'm not wounded anymore. I love that. I wounded myself, and then I didn't. Lovely. Nice. More homage. Thank you. Level 7. High Lordship of the Arbor. Yes, thank you. Oh, finally. Finally. Please, no more plagues, I beg. Alright, so now we can go to war with the Arbor. For the Arbor. Which is fantastic. We're going to summon all our men. Yeah, High Lordship of the Arbor. Declare war. For my claims. Thank you very much. Oh, I declared war on all of the Reach. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, they're going to come straight for my lands. King Eris's flu. Good God, now what? Alright, it's somewhere else, I think. We're also being raided by the pirate lady. Oh, Jesus. We, specifically, like me, my people, we? <laughs> that fucking sucks. Yeah, they're going to come immediately for my lands. Either for my lands or for my armies. I think they're coming for my armies. Yeah, here they come. Yeah, they're going to beat my ass down. 100% they are. Fuck it, lads. We'll give them one hell of a fight, boys. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, we, we beat them down quite a bit. Yeah, here comes the Estamonts. 
Uh, two of uh, one of my uh counselors died. My marshal. Oh man. There we go. Much better. Thank you. First defeat. Is there another one? Oh, my admiral too. Fuck. Yeah, that's pretty tough. I was like, where are you going? Come back. Bastard. Where are these Stormlanders at? Oh, here they come. Thank God. They only have 10,000 men with them, though. Eey. These are going to be tough numbers. Tough numbers indeed, lads. Come on. Come on, Estebont. We're both going to lose this. Yeah, we lost pretty bad. Damn it. Yeah, that's tough. Yes, come on, 21,000 men from the Stormlands. Yeah, take the bastards. Come on, yes, finally. Justice. Vengeance. God damn it, there's so many plagues still, dude. This is awful. And my military was cut down pretty bad. But. Uh, it seems like we're winning for right now anyway. Yeah, where are y'all going now, huh? Another inspired person. Wants to make a chest. Sure. I don't care. That's fine. Where are y'all heading now? That makes me nervous. They're gonna come around us. The cowards. Alright. How long do we have in this siege? 51 days. They have 20 months. Perfect. So we can wait it out. And then we can go take the fight to them. The twins pox. Oh god. Lovely. Let's take the fight to these bastards. Nice. Yeah, I d I'm not gonna lie. I didn't realize I was gonna be going to war with the whole of the uh the fucking the reach. So that's kind of on me. I'll take responsibility for that one, 100. <laughs> percent gonna take them three years this is gonna take us four months another inspired persons eh wants to forge another mace fine i can't have too many maces in my fucking uh in my inventory can i <laughs> the more weapons the better i suppose that'd be interesting come on let me take the abba yeah here they come go on lads yeah very nice beat them down Ooh. Lord Eldrin of the Westerlands has lost his war against Lord Roland of Castamere in a liberty war. What does this mean for the reigns of Castamere? Are they now free to be their own people? Eh? They're all still under the Lannisters. Lord Eldrin. Yeah, High Lordship of Castamere. Interesting. The reigns of Castamere. Arrange a marriage, eh? I mean, there's there's nobody to arrange currently. They have a lots of children though, so maybe my son, once he has children, perhaps they're still betrothed. Why are they not married yet? I don't understand. I need a uh, low key. I just need Lord Paramount Warren to die. I need him to die soon, cause uh. 
the longer my son's uh you know claims on my lands are in question uh the harder or the worse is gonna get for me and for just about everybody it's a neutral army oh i am being raided what the fuck you rap bastards how dare all of you it says it's a neutral army Artifact seized. The bejeweled seven-pointed star. That's awesome. Alright. Let's have out the bastards. Oh no, he died. Died of old age. My alliance with the Estamonts is done for. All right, we just got to finish this. And my counselor, Willis, died. Damn it, Willis. It's so hard to keep a good admiral around here. Jesus. Whew. Sorry, my ears hurt. There you go. The last two. Six months here, seven months here. Not bad. And their army was beaten down. So they have no more men. Yeah, they have 3,000 men. And the, uh, the leader, the Lord Paramount, is a literal child. A sturdy chest. Congratulations. Thank you. You built a box, my friend. Jesus. Commander promoted. No, my army is not a nursery. Damn you. Black Bull, the Bejeweled Seven-Pointed Star. F favor of the Lady. Yeah, we'll keep that one on. That's fine. All right, come on. Let's finish this up, lads. A new perk is available. Absolute control. Thank you. Come on, one more. That's it. Why? Battles won 50. The war score for High Lordship of the Arbor. But I've won it. It's literally mine. Oh, no. There's one more castle. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Six months. Not bad. Damn, there's some territory disputes going on down here. Inspiration realized. Norman's Mace. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah, very interesting. Let's pause this. Uh, Gerald Hightower Sword gives me plus four prowess and then 0.5 prestige per month. This gives me five prowess. Ooh, this is a much better weapon, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, a much better weapon. It's not even, like, disputable, dude. That's crazy. Let me finish this siege battle. It's just a matter of days now. Lovely. Enforce demands. The arbor is mine. Disband my armies. My legitimacy has gained. Yeah, not bad. Lots of decisions. Train my squire. I forgot I still had a squire. 50-50 to train in chivalry. Good. He did good. Oh, my wife died. Till death do us part. Damn. That sucks. I am above my domain limit, it seems. Which means I could grant some of these lands. Golden Vines, the castle. Black Crown, the castle. Alright. This episode ends when I die. Please just let me die soon. I can get four claims. Casterly Rock. Fuck yeah, I'll take it. You know what? Before I die, let's fund another expedition to Old Valyria. We might as well. Since we're doing a lot of shit in this episode anyway. Fighting the plagues. Let's see. Who do we want to send? An evil absolver. He's callous, forgiving, and ambitious. 
uh, diplomatic. He doesn't seem very learned. Yeah. Irrational adventurer. I don't know how I feel about that. But a fearless lackey. Yeah, let's go for uh, Ebros. You can take this journey, my friend. Farewell. And uh, hopefully you come back alive with something. Demons. Demons fever spreads. Jesus Christ, dude. He wants to forge a magnificent weapon. She wants to forge a magnificent weapon. So be it. Forge a goblet. No, be gone, vagrant. Nice. And I forgot to have more court artifacts. So let's put the sturdy chest here. And let's put the great row hide here. Repair. This is already displayed, which is perfect. Very nice. Not bad. Lots of artifacts. A failed expedition. Oh, what a disaster. That's alright. It is what it is. Alright, come on, Warren Flowers. I just need you to die, please. I know that sounds horrible to say, but he's suffering. My son's uh, claims are in dispute. Hatch a dragon egg. You know what? I heard that uh, this decision to hatch a dragon egg typically uh, causes like an explosion that kills people. But I want to try it. Let's see what happens. I died. <laughs> Damn. Lord Paramount's Warren of Old Town has left this world at 61 years of age. He was burned to death in a wildfire accident. A paragon of valor and gallantry. Oh. He will always be remembered for his cordial and just nature in face of all odds. Lord Paramount Dennis ascends to the throne. Having mastered many skills, he is sure to be admired by his subjects. Fought in three wars. We fought in seven wars. Attended one grand tour. Martial lifestyle. Devoted servant. Illustrious. Was dreaded. Was a cultural head. Founded a house. And was burned to death in a fire and a wildfire accident. We'll blame the uh what's it called? Yeah, he gained the titles of Old Town, Sunnyvale, Prutland, and Black Crown Lineage, just the one. Continue as Lord Paramount Dennis. My beneficiary has passed away. Oh, she was burned to death in the wildfire accident. Ah, oh, damn. Dennis Bull Tower. Damn. And here he is, Lord Paramount Dennis. Let me get yeah, let me get all of my uh all of my stuff back. Oh, can we get married now? Is that it? Possessed? Is that a congenital trait? She has a congenital trait for possessed. Are you fucking serious? That's awful. Alright, so we can marry, but my children will be possessed. That's awful. Arrange a marriage. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I wonder if I can't break this betrothal. God damn it. I really did that to myself, didn't I? Hold on. Let's do everything else. Send a raven. I don't want to request a loan. Grand tournament. No lifestyle chosen. Uh, Marshall is fine. Nice. Chivalry once again. Not bad. My son's already almost gallant, which is cool. Uh, I have lost all of my counselors. Holy fuck. Hold on. Let's go for the, the sum of all skills here. Learning. Nah, let's go for stewardship here. Alright. Possessed or not. We've kind of dealt with it before. Let's send the proposal. Excellent. And now we are wed. Pay homage. Petition liege. Hold court. No, thank you. How lovely. So now that we're uh, finally married, I can't seduce her. She's not attracted to men? Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. Alright, so we ran into a couple of issues here, lads. So for starters, this lady is not attracted to men. Yeah, she's a homosexual. She will not lie with me. So we're going to break this betrothal. Because this is not going to suit us literally at all. Uh, relevance. Interesting. 
I can marry an Umber. Lordship of Last River. They're weak as shit, though. This is awful. I'm kind of screwed for choice here. Because there's a, there's a lot of asexual fucking people here, dude. Yeah, asexual, asexual. Damn it, bro. Like, what the fuck is happening? I'm kind of I'm kind of screwed for choice here. Literally all of these options suck. Here we go. I can marry a rain. House rain. They're really weak though. That's what sucks. Lord Donald the Mad Lion of Pride's Keep. Interesting. Yeah, I might as well just marry the the rain girl, I suppose. That fucking sucks. I lost my my major alliance with the uh you know, with the Stormlands, though, which is unfortunate. The Shadow of Fame, Twilight. There are whispers about the tales and deeds of my father, the illustrious Lord Paramount Warren. Everywhere I go, near or far, it seems there is nobody who has not heard his name. I wonder, will I always stay in the shadow of my father, or will I be able to achieve as much, as, as much fame in my life as him? How high will I be able to climb? One day I will be like you, Warren. Very nice. Lovely. Now I'm married. I love that. And now I have a maester, too, which is cool. I can hold court, but I'm not gonna. A wedding celebration. Yeah, I'll, I'll let my subjects enjoy the festivities without worry or care. That's fine. All right. Now that we've finally managed to fucking make something happen, we're going to start a scheme to romance our wife. 41% chance of getting that shit done. All righty, lads. And there we have it. The end of another wonderful episode. This was a tough one. Look at this man. I didn't realize just how scarred up he was. But my God, dude's, uh, dude's looking a little bit rough. We might have to give him a, uh, a makeover, I think. But at the same time, I'm kind of down to keep the default looks going. I think it looks pretty good either way. So... It's whatever. But here he is, the young Lord Dennis of House uh, Bold Tower, the Lordship of Old Town, and uh, and the High Tower itself. Man, this is uh, this has been an interesting episode to say the absolute least. But uh, we made it. We made it to the end. Thank God. Um, but anyway, lads, that is all for now. I hope you guys do uh, enjoy today's episode. And uh, keep an eye out for next week's episode as well. I'm very excited to see just how far we can get with this dynasty. Especially now that we've married into House Rain. Not THE House Rain, but like a cadet branch of House Rain. Either way, it should be fine, lads. But until next time, always remember, honor and service, glory and sacrifice. And I, your Lord Commander, will see you in the battles ahead. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you.